Uh, welcome to the box blind here in Illinois. I took the shot, looked like it was perfect, so. That's crazy. It is. I knew we'd see him tonight. Yeah, I did too. Are you on a bit there? I'm on him, yeah. It is the uh, evening of December 3rd. It's the first day of the uh, second Illinois shotgun season. We've got a four day season here um, coming in for the second season. And uh, this is actually the first chance I've had to uh, do my interview. I came out about uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock. Um, just more of an observation sit tonight right behind the house here. Um, sitting on uh, some beans, uh, some cut corn, some standing corn. I've got some uh, winter bulbs and sugar beets and then some rye. So just a great little mixture here. Um, this uh, muddy penthouse is set up right here with a little pinch point we created with the beans and the corn, creating that edge those deer like to walk right by here. Uh, brought in the Hoyt tonight. Nice thing about the Illinois gun season is you can uh, use a bow as well if you've got a gun tag. So when you have low pressure on this farm, um, that's what I'd like to do tonight. So I brought the bow in and I was hoping to maybe get an opportunity here towards the end of the night on a nice big mature doe. Um, had quite a few deer out in the field, maybe, I don't know, close to 20 deer. And then a squirrel started barking back in the timber, kind of spooked the deer. And the deer started clearing the field, had a doe stop, you know, right here in front of me at about 20 yards. And I went ahead and took the shot, looked like I hit her perfect. So um, it was a nice way to, to end the first evening here. But I've still got about a half hour left, so I'm going to sit in here and wait till it gets good and dark. And then we're going to go um, grab the bad boy buggy and uh, throw her on the 
on the cart and get her out of here, but should be low pressure and a great way to get a doe down here late season. Well, welcome to the box blind here in Illinois. It is December 14th. Uh, just finished up the Illinois muzzleloader season yesterday. So we got all the orange army out of the woods and uh, we're back out with the Hoyt tonight. Um, we came up in this spot. This is one of my favorite spots. This is a, probably one of my larger um, food plots. It sits right in the middle of the farm, right next to my sanctuary. And uh, checking the cutty links yesterday, we had several, looked like mature bucks up in this field yesterday. Um, they came out early about 2.30, 3 o'clock, and they were out here most of the night. Um, we had the head eight right here in front of the blind. It looked like we had another big eight who I didn't recognize. Um, we had the big frame eight. There's quite a few deer up here, so we slipped in here tonight. Um, Brian came over, and we're going to see if we can lay eyes on one of these deer and possibly uh, put an arrow in one of them. But um, It's been kind of a tough season here um, just to kind of get you guys up to speed. Um, earlier in the year, we were hunting the G3 buck pretty hard. Had some great encounters with him. Um, we're right on his heels most of the season. And then we went to Iowa. Um, had a really fun hunt there. Just couldn't get it done there as well. And when I came back, the G3 buck had disappeared off cameras. And I uh, found out last weekend that the neighbor had actually shot him the week we were in Iowa. So so he's no longer on the hit list. Um, the two main deer we were waiting for this year were um, Super Freak and Twin Towers. Super Freak has not shown back up, so I'm not sure what happened to him. I'm assuming at this point, you know, he must have died. He dropped both the sheds on the farm, but sometime between, uh, you know, late season and the summer, I don't know if he hit by a car or, you know, something happened in a while, but he did not show back up, but we did finally get a few pictures of Twin Towers, and uh, he definitely blew up this year. He looks awesome. Um, he did make it through gun season, and uh, we got some pictures of him here just a couple days ago, so he did make it through, which is exciting. So we're kind of on the fence at this point, um, what we're gonna do with that deer. Uh, I know that deer is four. So if we could get him through one more year, um, that deer's got the potential to be just amazing. So we'll see what happens with him. But so tonight we're kind of switching gears. Um, I might try to take down one of these big eights tonight just to get them out of here and, and get some room for the uh, for some of these younger deer to stay in here. But should be a nice evening. It's cold tonight, uh, 32 degrees. We're sitting on a lot of food, so it should be a pretty evening. Yeah. Yeah, 
That dude's foot's all infected. Yeah, I saw that. He's like, don't mess with me, man, I'm hurting. Yeah. It's pretty sun. Mm-hmm. eight there. Um, I was at full draw probably four times on him. Um, you know, the cutting light cameras had showed that deer right in front of this blind last night. He's been up in this field multiple times. Um, I was just torn on that deer. I've got sheds uh, the last two years of that deer. I know he's four, but he's a very, very dominant deer. 
Um, you know, typically I like to let my deer get to five, but honestly, I think that deer right there um, is the bully of the farm. Um, so I really wanted to actually actually get that deer out of here. We've got some beautiful young deer on this farm, and I actually think he's pushing a lot of these deer off the farm. So I've been going back and forth on whether to shoot that deer all night, and um, you know he just gave me a perfect shot here at 25 yards. Um, because gun season's over, uh, you know the season's gonna be winding down here, and uh, I just think that's a really good deer as far as a management deer for this farm. Um, to get that deer off the farm, let some of his air deer come in and kind of take over his territory because, um, you know, he's even though he's four, he's been acting like a five or six year old deer all year on this farm. Uh, so, um, November 14th or December 14th, and uh, finally uh, filled my first tag here in Illinois. So. All right, just wanted to just do uh, one quick little wrap up here. So um, obviously had a great hunt tonight, got the heavy eight down. Um, you know, when you're doing some management, it is important sometimes to take these bully deer out. Um, that's kind of what I did tonight. So hopefully by getting this deer out, um, some of these younger deer are gonna have a chance to come in here, but he was definitely the bully on the farm. Um, mature deer and uh, just gave us a great hunt tonight and uh, very blessed to get him down. So um, we're gonna be back at it yet. Um, Still got one tag left here in Illinois, so late season is, is really just starting for us. So we've got a lot of food on the farm. Um, we're gonna be checking our cuttybacks, um, seeing what's there, but you know, can't say enough about the cuttybacks and the cutty link system. So I run um, multiple cutty links on this farm. And honestly, I think the reason that I have success and the reason that this farm is so good is because of the cuttybacks. Uh, there is no better system out there. Um, the way you can monitor your farm with minimal pressure, uh, it's just awesome. So um, the Rage did a great job. The Hoyt, um, it all just came together. Uh, the good Lord blessed me with the perfect shot. Um, saw him fall on camera. And uh, like I said, just a great hunt. So appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and watching Ailey University. Um, hopefully we can bring a few more down for you before the year's up. Um, but be safe uh, the rest of the season and thanks for watching.